All right, the war at the Elven Forest is under its way, and these dumbass elves are like, no one can take down our barrier. We don't have to try. Got incinerated immediately by Wakaba, 10th Squadron leader, hopefully. Now, there's some other students that we were not aware of. The two missing were Kyoya and Kazuma or some shit. You know, there's a ninja guy, and as well as there seems to be someone with green hair in the Demon Side faction. But they're also still not accounting for a missing person who is considered dead, which I assume is Wakaba as a 10th Squadron leader, right? What else to happen? Hugo is here. The Sage is here. Yuri, right? Okachan almost died, but Shun came to save the day at the very end, right? Bro actually got a main character drop in. Will he save the war? Is he gonna be an actual hero? Or are we gonna just fuck off and let the elves die and we can just, you know, just get out of there? Who really knows? Let's find out today's reaction. Mmm. CGI soldiers. Oh, wait! We're in the past! <laughs> she actually fucking commentating this war that she fucking started? She started this shit, man! But, okay, it's in the past, right? The basically, other factions are attacking us because we, we killed the envoy of, like, Oats Kingdom or something, right? Interesting how two wars are happening at the same time. Past and present. So I'm a cloud, so what? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god! Look at all that blood! That's a lot of fucking blood, man. All our schizo friends are getting involved in the news broadcasting too. And got cut off. Kingdom of 42,000. Sorry. Sariella is our side, right? Oats is the people that are mad at us. What do you mean, get him, Oats? Why are you cheering for them? She even has her own armor on, dude. This is not soccer. What? Julius Nisama! Julius Nisama! She's so sad. That this child Yulius Nisama has to, you know, join war. But you killed Yulius Nisama in the future. You did this. You started this war. This is all on you. Yeah, you're the cause. Oops. Oops. Accidentally. Sure, accident. Honestly... Porky was an excuse, right? They were being very rude from the beginning. Like that kingdom, Oath Kingdom, wanted to go to war. They were just looking for an excuse. So it's like we start, we we basically broke the last straw, right? But it was gonna happen regardless. <laughs> Cap. Cap. <laughs> or don't, cause all the human EXP. Right, that fight against Ariel still hasn't happened yet. <laughs> she looks so devious. So the whole game plan is to feast upon all the humans here, a hundred thousand humans, EXP, and then we'll be strong enough to fight Ariel. Oh? Ariel still fighting Earth Dragons in the Labyrinth. Yeah, that's a lot of EXP for her, man. But you can't kill the Sariel people too, right? Okay, we're on Sariel's side. Surprise, she's not getting stepped on. Wonder what the- holy shit, she just wiped out the entire way. We're, we're, we're supposed to fight on behalf of Sario's side, but I feel like you just wiped out the entire field there. Did she just kill everybody? Did you- uh, There's one survivor. There's a couple survivors. And you at least need Sama. Yeah! I, this is like Skibi Chimulin Fantasy, season one finale. <laughs> Accidentally ending the war on both sides. You're like, oh, whoops, what, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, tee -hee, my bad! All right, let's just get out of here. Ariel! Finally! No, not the Terminator. CGI Grandma has appeared. But she's nerfed right now. Oh, what's a breath attack right away? Never mind, that's the flashback. How many Earth Dragons are there? Put it out of its misery. Good morning. Good morning. Ariel's kind of funny too, I guess. 
Good morning. Kumo. Spider. Good morning. Get it? Why would the dragon not leave? Elder said a divine beast because we know there's multiple divine beasts. Right, because the dragon said you should take care of, you know, Wakaba. My mind is counted among the old ones who must pass from the world. So he's just a really old dragon that wants to look for the new generation, okay? He's buying time. The dragon's pretty honorable, but. The skills that I stole from mother. Now, is the mother in this context Queen Taratek that Wakaba considers his mother? Because she is known as the mother. But Ariel is the mother, mother of mother. So who is her mother? Ariel, I thought, is the origin Taratek. She is the start. But she also has a mother. Could be the goddess, Sariel, right? <laughs> Why does she hold her mouth there? What was that? It almost feels like Ariel accidentally said something she shouldn't have. Skills that I stole from mother? Oops. It seems you are the one who is being devoured by our schizophrenic body, right? I don't understand this scene. It's not like the body is controlling Ariel and Ariel accidentally said with the skills I stole from mother as in that's not Ariel talking but basically Kumo talking, right? The Kumoning star is this yeah, the the soul is being affected because of the body, even the Kumoning star. Is she acting more like Wakaba here? Right? I feel like the Kumoning star we just kind of glanced over like haha, but like I feel like this segment is trying to really show us that Ariel's changing because their body is in her brain, or you know, in, in her, that her soul is also changing. Even saying the skill I stole from mother, it almost sounds like Wakaba was talking for Ariel there for a second, right? I don't know. I wonder if that mother was just like an accident, or like, I don't know. I'd be interested to see who the mother really is, but. Oh, that's a nice, interesting angle. <laughs> Good morning, Star. Hmm. Oh, and you did. I feel like this fight is the more fleshed out fight from the one post credit scene where we saw Ariel off one shot that dragon. I feel like this is the same dragon, right? That last scene here, the shut up part, right? Isn't that exactly what happened in the post credit scene? This is the exact sequence of events. It's just showing us a little bit more of the fight. When was the last time someone gave you that much trouble? Rip dragon. Why are you killing all the divine beasts? And this earth dragon is probably what um, Ariel was talking about in a couple episodes ago when I was still thinking that the demon lord was Wakaba because the demon lord said, have you fought an earth dragon before against Admin G? And everything that she was saying kind of like matched Wakaba's experience, right? <laughs> Like what Wakaba would do. The demon lord is turning more into Wakaba because of body being in her. Are we gonna circle back and it actually ends up that demon lord is just Wakaba at the end of the day? Like, like, in the, like we know that Ariel and Wakaba are separate people, but because our body is like influencing her. What if like we just like merge with the demon lord and we do and, and like and the demon lord is Wakaba. So like in the beginning they trolled us. They made us think that the Wakaba was a demon lord, but it wasn't. And, every, and then everybody thought that, oh, Admin D must be Demon Lord. No, it wasn't. But now, with this new development, it's like, <laughs> Wakaba is Demon Lord again? I, you know, I, where are we going with this? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is like fucking pump, it's like double pump fake. No, you don't. You're like Wakaba right now. This is not you. Even the white, whoa, 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 even that, even that. Yes, you and Wakaba, the body is in you. Hello. <laughs> what does he do? Is a schizophrenic just dancing around? It's like uh, against mother, we were like eating away, right? But like, what is the body doing in an Ario? Is she eating or not? He's just dancing, just, he's just having a party. 
I'm so confused. G. Which one are you now? What do you mean? Which one? That you're changing into Wakaba. 50-50. Yeah. Wakaba. A soul can eat another soul, huh? But your mind has been partly eaten away by her soul. And we know what a soul is. The soul is like the core of what a person is. Like the Isekai characters, they had to like extract the soul and place it here. Ariel has her own soul, but Wakaba is basically eating away at that soul too, right? In fact, didn't we do the same shit with Mother, right? And that's why we gained her stats and we gained her skills, right? That was like eating souls, right? But even before, what was something else? Fuck, I'm forgetting something really important. I feel like last episode they said something along the lines of there was a different way to like eat, like absorb someone's skills and uh, stats and shit like that. I, I think something to do with the admins. I, I forget exactly. But last episode they did mention something like that. And I was like, huh, kind of similar to how we just eat away at a soul. Because of the resistance we're integrating. Yeah, Hugo's greed. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, good call. Fearful. Your granddaughter. Oh. Again, the faces don't mean shit to us because we don't really know them. Yeah. Guests to this world brought by Admin D. Exactly. Again, more confirmation. I think it's been pretty obvious, but Ariel and Admin D separate people, right? But this is just like 100% confirmation now. D is stronger than G. Okay. But Garden and Admin is kind of interchangeably used. With an intent to alter this world's disastrous fate. Admin D just happened to invite the souls off during this critical point in time back in the past. Admin D is trying to prevent the disastrous fate by introducing Wakaba into Taboo and learning about the past, the DLC package. Okay, right. We know that. We know that. Gakia! Who the fuck is Gakia? 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 Oh, Gakia's a dragon. Never mind. Gakia's a dragon. <laughs> Well, let's be to kill her less. So we're gonna have a little fight. And we saw that in the opening, right? The CGI fight between Ariel and Wakaba. My subordinate. The dragon is Admin G subordinate? So if Ariel has the theme of spiders, then G is dragon, huh? So Admin G is some like dragon hybrid? Well, what is it? All right. And we're back where Ariel just gets ported in. Hello. Who are you? I am you. You are me. Death sentence. <laughs> Holding up face is exhausting. <laughs> Even now she's fucking breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> God, she was holding up the entire time. Anyways. Focus, 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 survive, survive. But we're immortal. Unless we get hit by abyss magic. Did she just port did she just port us back down? Or did we get hit by a spider string? Wait. She ported us. The fuck? Yeah, she like canceled the port? What what what? So no one can leave the barrier now. Ah it's like a friendly fight, I think. I think this is a friendly fight. Whoops. I mean, the humans were already taken out, and Yulius needs some a witness to it all, huh? Did Yulius ever talk about this? I f did. I I feel like Yulius did. Did Yulius ever talk about you know witnessing the demon lord fight something in the past when he was a kid? A am I crazy, or did that ever actually happen? I I can't remember. It's not just canceling teleport. Cancels. So we got to do Taijutsu, huh? Oh, the CGI Taijutsu is kind of funny. But yeah, we are pretty physically fast, too. How the fuck are you moving in midair like that? 
This looks all right. And the more we do this, basically everyone else is getting fucked, right? I thought the entire battlefield was wiped out by Wakaba already. You at least need someone still witnessing it? Wait, you're getting in? Okay, so we can use basic magic at least. Oh, that was a pretty big dip in HP. That doesn't matter though, because she got regen. Never mind. Never mind. Her auto gen is insane. So she's just sacrificing SP every time. Maybe Yulia's Nisama will save us. Wait, what are you chewing on? The fuck did she just eat? Some kind of SP potion? What? Ruler of Gluttony. Now, we don't we, we haven't heard of Gluttony just yet, right? This is a new uh, sin, right? Explanation. The title bestowed upon those who have conquered Gluttony. Anyway, wh what does this do? Uh, positive correction to proficiency to all strengthening skills. Obtains access to ruling class privileges. Um, just eats anything. And then you can fucking turn it into HP. I don't know. So you can eat anything and it'll be just be good. Is this the skill that Ariel said before? The skill I stole from Mother? Remember what she said? I'll devour everything with the skill I stole from mother. At that point, I was like, huh, mother? You're talking like Wakaba for a second? Who is your mom? But gluttony is probably referring to that specific skill because, you know, it is devouring everything. Like, that's what gluttony does, right? Oh, that's a lot of blood. And the humans just keep suffering because of her. Ew, I can feel their bodies being pulped as a sm- Is she just, like, blending? All the humans right now? This is straight up Wakaba turning into a bowling ball and blending every- Oh, that, that is nasty. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Yeah, thanks for the EXP though. Thank you. She keeps leveling up though because so many humans are dying, so it's fine. We got to heal it back up. Rest in peace, CGI knights that will never even see their faces. You're actually sad for them? Don't lie, you don't know them. Julius. That's crazy, that kid Julius would be down to do this. <laughs> Granny says she'll talk home for you, Lil Nisama. <laughs> the hero just felt like stepping up. Julius. By the way, he has the scarf. Remember the scarf is made out of Wakaba silk, right? That's the one that they took after taking back Faye's egg. Why? Does the hero have a natural counter against the demon lord? Why Why is demon lord so... Why is Ariel so cautious right now? Snake, frog, and slug. Which one is which? Snake is Ariel maybe? Frog is Wakaba and slug is Julius? Or maybe other way around? <laughs> Secret title effect confers the power to slay the demon lord. So the, so the hero obviously has OP passive, but I don't know what that means confers the power to slay the demon lord. So you're saying despite being level 1 or 100, the hero title allows you to slay the demon lord? It's just a natural counter, so you should be able to defeat it no matter what. I think so, that's what they're saying. Not the Shota, the hero, the hero. Yeah, even with shitty stats, he just hard counters a demon lord. What the fuck? Meteor? Who the fuck drops a meteor on us? Yo, save Julius. Don't get hit by this. That, hit, that hurts the soul. Our immortality doesn't do shit against that. And we got hit by- Oh no, we're in the future! I am so fucking- Alright, we're, we're in the future and I don't know, but it seems like Wakaba got hit by uh, Abyss Magic. 
And maybe getting hit by an abyss magic kills Wakaba there. But then, no, but the abyss magic hurts the soul, right? So I'm thinking this is where Ariel extracts the soul and like places it in, you know, whoever the 10 squadron body is. And this is how she gets the humanoid form moving forward. That, that's my best guess. But we're in the future now. Right, Shun saved the day. Here we go. He's so fucking cocky. All you have is borrowed skills, dude. Now, she's allowed to be cocky because she's the real deal. Uh, Kyuya! Never mind, never mind. Adventure, adventure friend. <sighs> Who? Who are you? Do you remember? Hugo doesn't remember? I don't know. I don't know if this is the actually important plot thing of Hugo not being able to remember stuff from back on Earth, or maybe he's actually just getting like, who the fuck are you? No, I, the, because Katya is straight up saying, I don't think so, something strange is going on, I feel like the show is telling us, hey, something is happening to Hugo to the point he can't remember stuff back on Earth. What? What? What was that? Wait, 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 what? Is it due to the effects of gluttony or the greed he has or just having sins? I don't know. Something affects him though. This cocky motherfucker, dude. You don't have to. I feel like Shin should be the one to take out Yugo, yeah. I'm just still worried because Sophia hasn't entered the battle yet and she's the strongest. My god, this camera movement is so jarring. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh! oh. <laughs> this is difficult. <laughs> what the fuck happened to the production value, dude? We're at, at fucking 24 FPS right now. This is like so fucking bad. And now I don't mind because I don't really want Spider for the fight scenes. I the fight scenes I don't give a fuck now. Would I want it to be better? Of course. It's not the end of the day, but goddamn. What the fuck happened to the budget by the end here, dude? Stats are low because Okatan took it all, but he took a lot of skills, right? With greed. <laughs> Wait, 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 he has a demon lord skill? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He has a demon lord skill? I'm just gonna assume he- I don't wanna read this fucking list and find out demon lord- He does! Demon lord level 1! Why the fuck does he have demon lord level 1? But then again, so did Wakaba. Well, maybe demon lord is just given to anyone who has like a 7 deadly sin skill, you know? People- because that's the only common pattern. Yeah. Proficiency and a large one. But what causes you to get it though? Who's claiming to be here with intentionally selected Demon Lord? Someone gave it to him. Someone gave him greed and then he accidentally got Demon Lord along with it. He got through proficiency only? Somehow, either through proficiency, he got the Demon Lord skill, but as a human, he shouldn't intentionally selected it. He somehow got it. Someone else wanted him to get it? Okay, now the stats can be boosted with those skills. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> that was a PowerPoint slide. <laughs> what in the fuck am I watching right now? <laughs> Post credit scene. Hugo? G, G, Admin G. The world's fate has accelerated with the arrival of the reincarnation. Admin G monologue. The two of them, Potimas and the demon side? Who, who, which two are you talking about right now, huh? Because the world's accelerating based on that, right? And then G sees the demons along with probably Wakaba, right? And 
whoever this is, right? Potimas. So the elves. The elves sees the admins as enemies, right? The elves see... So it's basically elves versus the admins. Which And the admins technically seem to be all demons for some fucking reason, right? Potimas will probably lose. Open your eyes. Dude, she still never fucking opens her eyes! Are they really hiding? I don't know why they're intentionally hiding 10 Squadron Leader from opening her eyes, but like, she did once for Annihilating Eye, just that one time, just once for a fucking frame, but that's it. And it's interesting how supposedly Wakaba, and we don't know, right? We, we, we have no confirmation that this is Wakaba. We don't. The anime has not stated explicitly, but I think we're at a point where we can use process of elimination and kind of assume that this is Wakaba, right? So, Wakaba and Ariel, they're always together. How much of Ariel is Wakaba now? I don't know. And I'm, I'm just gonna assume when, you know, Wakaba got hit by that flame meteor. No, no, no. The flame meteor attack didn't kill Wakaba, but in the past, Ariel shot Abyss Magic, which destroyed a soul. But I'm just gonna assume that after that event, the spider form is no longer, and we extracted a soul and took it out. I don't really know, but this is this is another episode of the war. So basically, the war ended real quick because Wakaba accidentally just fucking you know used her fucking jet gatling everything and just destroyed everything. And then the battle with Ariel and Ariel has no gear, unfortunate. Ariel and Wakaba, the, the the collateral damage is basically wiping out the armies. Now Yulius Nisama, the hero, Yusha has like a skill that basically just hard counters a demon lord despite having no fucking levels for stats, which is very interesting. So Shun could take out Ariel right now, right? Now, we don't know if that's gonna actually happen because Hugo's looking like a fucking menace and Hugo's getting pretty fucking annoying. I just want him to know his fucking place. Like, it's so annoying. And Hugo's not even the main threat because we still have to worry about Sophia who has not entered the battle yet. And on top of Sophia, there's one more demon army, right? Sorry, demon faction lord or some general. And that's Kyoya, the green haired guy that is still yet to enter the battle yet. So. I just feel like the elves are not gonna win. The elves won't win, but we're probably gonna win our little skirmish and maybe escape somehow. And that'll probably be the end of the season and then wrapping up this forest elf arc. But still, so fucking fascinating how Ariel and like Wakaba seems to be like merging together because we placed our schizo friend in her. She's becoming more like us. She's even saying, I stole that skill from mother. Who was mother at that point? Did it fucking matter? Is it just saying mother because, you know, mother is what Wakaba always says and it just kind of slipped? We need more fucking answers, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.